Hello, in this video we're going to find the domain of this function. So we have h of x equals 1 over the fourth root of x squared minus 5x. So the domain is the set of all inputs that you can plug into this function and the function will make sense. So we have a fraction, so obviously the bottom can't be 0. But then we have a fourth root, and this is called the index. And so whenever the index is even, whatever is in here can't be negative. In other words, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. So let's focus on that. Whatever is here must be greater than or equal to zero. Actually, and it can't be equal to zero because then we would divide by zero. So let's just go ahead and do greater than zero. And that should give us everything. If it was just a, if it wasn't a fraction, you would do greater than or equal to, but because it can't be zero, because if it's zero, then you have zero on the bottom, you want to put greater than. This factors, you can pull out an x. And now we're going to use something called the test point method. This is just one way to solve the inequality. The test point method says that whenever you have an inequality like this, where it's factored on one side and you have zero on the other, you basically set each factor equal to zero. And then you solve. Then you take these two numbers and you plot them on a number line. And then you pick test points and you plug the test points in here. If the inequality is true, you shade. If it's not true, you don't shade. For example, let's just pick negative one. You can pick any number less than zero. Plugging in a negative one here into our inequality, we have negative one parentheses, negative one minus five, greater than zero. It's gonna be negative one times negative six greater than zero. 6 greater than 0. That's true, so we shade. Let's check 1. That's a number between 0 and 5. Plugging in 1, we get 1, parentheses, 1 minus 5. We want that to be greater than 0. That's 1 times negative 4. We want that to be greater than 0. Negative 4 greater than 0. No, that's not true, so we don't shade. This was true, so it's yes, so we shade. So that's no shade. And let's check uh, a number over here. How about 6? Plugging in 6, we get 6. 6 minus 5, greater than 0. So that's 6 times 1, greater than 0. That's true. So we shade. So the shaded area is going to be the solution to this inequality, which is the domain of this function. We're not including these points because you have a strict inequality. So it'd be negative infinity to 0 union, 5 to infinity, boom. Again, negative infinity, 0, union, 5 to infinity. So that would be the solution to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.